guys, it's Adriel from Style Assisted and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a haul from a few different places, Ulta, Target, Sunglass Hut, and MAC. <laughs> I got a few things from everywhere and I thought that I would show you what I have and let you know sort of my first impression. Some of it I've had a little bit longer and I can let you know if I like the product or if I think it should go back. So let's first start with Ulta. I actually went in last in the last week and got a lot of tart stuff, so I have this adorable cute tart bag, which let me just tell you, if they could make a dress or a skirt out of this material, I would die. It's like got this amazing gold thread woven throughout. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. So that actually comes when you purchase a lot of the new tart products. So the first is they have the high performance double duty foundation. Now, here's the sample that came with it that has all of the different colors. I think it starts with light neutral, light medium honey, medium nutri tan sand. I tried the lightest shade they had which was fair and light neutral and it was too dark. Like way too dark. It is beautiful. So if you guys have darker skin I would seriously suggest trying on it. It made my skin gorgeous and glowy and luminous and just evened everything out and it's more of a full coverage. I was obsessed but the story of my life was not light enough. You guys are more than welcome to go try it. I would highly suggest it if you have a little bit darker skin. On the foundation level, I got the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Ultra Defining Liquid Makeup. This is a medium to full coverage foundation. Comes in a pump, which I love a pump. And then put, oh, I cut a lot on my hand. Ha! <laughs> Whoops. But anyway, so rub it in. And the bad news, it is way too dark. I know it's not rubbed in all the way, but you can still see it's not light enough at all. If I had been self tanning, which sometimes I use the Saint Tropez tanning mousse, it is my holy grail favorite. I love it. But if I haven't used that at all, way too dark. And I don't like spending a lot of money on foundations that I can't use all year round. You know what I mean? Like it just, it's not worth it. So that is actually going back. Up next, we actually have a palette. If you guys follow my blog, styleassisted.com, you would have seen this. And I also put it on my Twitter and Instagram. This is the Double Duty Beauty, um, the high performance, she dreams, she believes, she succeeded. It's the Double Duty Eye and Cheek Palette in the shade Classic Courage. So, it's amazing. I am obsessed with this. I love Tarte palettes and I have for years, but look at this. It's perfect for light and fair skin, but the colors actually work beautifully on a wide array of skin tones. So the other one is a little bit darker and a little bit more nighttime, but I'm obsessed with this and I can just put it in my purse and it has a great range of shades. So you can do lighter ones or you can do darker. A lot of times I'll do the dark as actual eyeliner and then just use the lighter shade on the inner of my eye and then do a slightly darker one in the crease looks fantastic, but I love this. It's beautiful, and I cannot say enough about Tarte Cosmetics and how long their Amazonian clay stuff lasts on my skin. I've used their blushes for years. Um, I love almost everything they've come out with. The only time I don't wear stuff from theirs is if it's too dark because that tends to be my problem with Tarte when it comes to foundation and concealer. However, Tarte has no idea who I am, so this is not sponsored, but if you guys are listening, make some lighter shades because they are some fair-headed fair-skinned, red-headed ladies out there, or blonde, or brunette, that would like to use your products. Please, lighter. This is wonderful. Do it with the foundation. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so next we have, in the same line of the Double Duty Beauty, I actually got their Lipstick Lip Gloss Trio in the shade Sass, which I think is totally fitting. It's this beautiful, beautiful color. I adore it. And then it has a matching gloss, which I Love. Are you guys one of those people that have like 15 lip products in your purse at, at one time? So many. My husband's like, why do you need so many lip products? I'm like, don't, don't question the beauty. No. But anyway, beautiful neutral shade. I think this color would look marvelous on everyone. You guys should definitely go try it. It's color sass. Because it's always nice in the spring and summer to have sort of a neutral but not nude lip. I love it. It's just beautiful. It's very moisturizing and very pretty. And a lot of times, if you don't like a full glossy lip, you can just put some gloss right around your cupid's bow and then right in the middle of your bottom lip. And it makes your lips look a little bit plumper, but then you don't have gloss everywhere, which is nice. 
Next, I just got a refill of my Baby Urban Decay um, eyeshadow primer potion. I love this stuff. The little guy is only eight, ten dollars. I don't remember how much it is, but it looks like this. It's just a refill. I actually also love the Elf eye primer stick. It comes in, I think, there's a clear one or a white one. There's a skin colored one of these, and then I don't remember what the other one was. But it's only $2, so I may actually do a day where I put this on one eye and put the e.l.f. on the other eye and then just see which one lasts longer. Would you guys want to see that? Because, you know, drugstore beauty is super popular because nobody wants to spend that much on makeup all the time. And then last, I actually went a little hula crazy. So this is the tiniest and the cutest little baby hula ever. It was only $15. And I love it. Look how sweet it is. Or as my little Irish friends would say, it's wee. The wee little ass. So there's also this gift pack, bonus pack, gift pack, gift set. Looks like this. It is a professionally bronzed benefit pack. So it has a regular sized hula. So here's the regular. Regular. Here's the baby. I love little baby things. Do you guys love little baby things? Am I the only person out there that loves tiny little okay I'm worried maybe it's just me and then a baby what's up which is a champagne colored creamy actual cream highlighter which is beautiful and looks amazing on quite a few skin tones and then this itty bitty professional pore minimizing primer I have the regular one here I don't think this is even the biggest one because I don't go through primer that fast so I don't mind buying the massive one because then you spend all that money and then it goes bad before you use it all so anyway here's the one I have here's the wee baby one that I just got super cute right so that is everything from Ulta lots of stuff the only thing I think that's gonna go back is this because it's just you know too dark Up next is MAC, and so I went into MAC wanting a new lipstick for spring and summer, and I ended up with two, actually. So we have Be Silly and Flocking Fabulous. Be Silly is one of their mattes, and oh my goodness, you guys, if you have not tried their matte lipstick, which I'm sure most of you probably have, it is so buttery and amazing. And it stays on for a really, really long time. I had this on for a few hours, and it did not budge, and then I'd wiped my lips off, and there was still color on it. Very impressed. And then Flocking Fabulous is one of their cream sheens. So, here's what they look like. This is Be Silly. And if I could swatch faster, this is Flocking Fabulous. So one is sort of a fuchsia and one is a bright coral. And I love it. The bright coral actually looks very similar to my NARS Audacious Lipstick which I actually might have around here. Ha ah. <laughs> ha! I found it. So, let's try this out. So this is the NARS Audacious Lipstick in the color Juliet. It is a little bit more coral, but still, it's like half the price of the NARS Audacious, although I do love that magnetic clothes. There's something about a magnetic clothes. How do I know that that's so amazing? Anyway, so these are the two colors. And then the lip liners I got to go with them is Talking Points, which goes with Be Silly. And I got more of a hot pink. And then I got Chic Trick, like Cheap Trick, but Chic Trick. They're so funny with their names. That is a coral, a pinky coral, to help sort of balance out the regular coral. So these are my new lipsticks from MAC. I love them. I love the way MAC lipsticks smell. Is that just me? Am I weird? Probably. I'm sure my husband's probably like, yes, you're weird. Okay, next is Target. I will start with the beauty and then I will move to this stuff. So beauty, first up, is these two O oh Sugar lip balms from CoverGirl. And they market them to be comparable to the Fresh Sugar lip balms, which I love. They are a cult favorite. I have one in my bedside. I have one in my bag. I have one in the diaper bag. I love them. Um, these say that they're called O Sugar instead of Fresh Sugar. And they say just as good as the $20 bombs. 
so obviously they're trying to compete. But these taste a little petroleum-y, which is never fun. The color taffy I actually have on my lips right now. Beautiful nude, love it. That's what it looks like. Absolutely love it. And then I also got the shade Punch, which I don't love because it is kind of similar to the ones I got, but it's redder. So it's this red sheen that has a little bit of coral to it, but it just doesn't look good on my face. Maybe I could try it with a lip liner to see if I like it better, but I am just not a fan of Punch at all. I like Taffy, and Taffy's great, and it's going to go in my purse, and actually I've been carrying around for a few days in my purse. I didn't like them at first, but they've grown on me, so that's definitely a good thing. Next up from Target is this NYX Contour Palette. This sucker is only $25 which is insane for a contour palette with this many shades. And do you see how fair this color is right here? Do you, do you see this? Do you, it's like white, guys. It's white. It's light enough for us fair-skinned people. And then it has an even lighter shade, well, a darker shade, which I would say is fairly normal compared to like a pressed powder that I use, then a banana powder, and then an even darker shade for people that are obviously darker skinned. Now, if you are a fair skin person, you can probably use this as your highlight and then combine this and this to do your contour shade. Now, I've had some of you guys ask me how to contour if stuff is heavily pigmented because that is a problem if you're fair skin. People are like, oh, it's crazy pigmented, and my fair skin friends are like, oh. So what you do, you barely dip your brush in the color, then you tap off the excess, and then I swipe once onto the back of my hand to kind of rid the majority of the powder off, and then I gently, gently put on my cheeks and then slowly start working it in. Don't ever put the first ounce of product on your face and like jam it in. Do lightly and then work it backwards. Contouring is not super hard, and if you guys have seen my videos, I actually did the Mascara Cosmetics contour palette and it's like contouring for idiots. I love it. It's fantastic. I've had several friends that have purchased it and have come back and said, oh my goodness, I've never been able to contour in my life and I can contour now. It's that good. I love it. I still use it all the time. But I'm always trying new stuff and this is great. I'm really excited about this and I'm glad that NYX actually listened and came out with lighter shades because you guys know when contouring became all the rage, I tried like every single contour palette they had at Sephora and none of them were light enough. And I wasn't about to spend that much money on something that barely doesn't even work. So, Target, I'm sure you can find an Ulta or anywhere they sell NYX Cosmetics. Next up is actually some jewelry. It's the earrings I have on. If you can see, there are these four little gold balls stuck together and they are from the company Stella Vale. It's actually from Shark Tank Girls. Um, it's made for Target by the Stella Vale Corporation and they are former army veterans and then designing divas, obviously. And so they sort of combined all of these phrases that help sort of get them through the military and help inspire them daily and they came out with this makeup, or not makeup, a jewelry line. So I love these earrings and then they also have these amazing rings, which is a regular ring and a midi ring. So they are the, I actually like these because you can stretch them or pinch them in if they're not the right size which is always fantastic. So it's a set of two, and it's regular and a midi, and I just love them, they're super cute. They have the same gold ball on the top that matches the earrings, and they just, it's a fantastic way to add style to any look by adding a midi ring. And I actually like the set because then they go together, and oh, this is a Georgiana ring, by the way, in case you're wondering. <laughs> but I love these, and they're super cute, and they stay on really well, which I love, because sometimes midi rings don't. So that is always an awesome, awesome, so I love these too. Ooh, my camera died there for a second. Okay, next up is a set of three rings, and this one's a little big for me, so I stick it on my thumb, but so they have these three pave style. So there's the cross one, and this one that looks sort of jo jo Georgiana-y, and then this one on the thumb, but like the set was like $10 or something, and they're adorable. I absolutely love them. Okay, last up is from the sunglass cut. I actually got two pairs of sunglasses, some moo moos, and some Oakleys for the two different styles of life that I live. So these guys are, you know the clear frames, it's turning into like a thing. These are like a take on the clear frames, but they're still a cat eye, and I love them, and they're quite beautiful. I haven't actually worn them yet because they're still in their packaging. So they're yellow on the front, purple on the sides, 
I adore these things. They're so fun. And I love anything that doesn't have... Sometimes after you wear Ray-Bans every day, you get tired of the little indentions that you get from the nose pieces. So that does not have them, which I love. And all of my regular glasses don't have nose pieces on them either. Well, the adjustable ones. They just have the frame. And then these from Oakley are red with orange frames and the actual lenses are green, kind of like the basic Ray-Ban. But that's it. That's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them below. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, please check out my website, styleassisted.com, for more outfits. And you can actually see sort of my daily life. Instagram is at styleassisted or Snapchat, which is basically like daily vlogging, which is Adriel Page. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye not objective. That's why I was so pumped when I found out that she came out with a lighter shade. I was like, yes, finally, because you fair skinned people understand the struggle. Like it's just bad. So yeah. Okay. Next, take a little bit and you actually do the top around your hairline because it gives dimension and makes you look like you have a little bit of color.